I didn't want to make the video at all. As you see, I did not put up a Chief Keith versus Soldier Boy video, even though there's people running around using the truth behind, you know, the imposters are running around making these videos. And it's funny to me. It's real funny. I'm like, man, these dudes hate on me, but then they go around and try to emulate you and steal what you do and try to clone what you do. It's, it's really ridiculous, but it just shows you it's a monkey see, monkey do business. And wow. But they ain't me, though. <laughs> and that's why you don't see me putting a Chief Keith up versus soldier boy did you go and tell these dudes that they was fake or that they, they was phonies and that they didn't know what they was talking about because they went off what false information somebody doctored some information to make it look like soldier boy was talking about chief keith when he was clearly not he says bang like chief keith but you didn't know that unless you heard the original version of the video and because people you know was riding off of it you know a, a certain guy who's a big major name in this thing uh, DJ you know who <laughs> I don't want to throw him under the bus but he wasn't alone because once he went out, everybody else did it, but it came, basically started from him, got the momentum going, and it was false information. But this is what I mean by you have a responsibility when you do this stuff. Like, I understand if you're making jokes. You know what I'm saying? Me, I'm different. I tell you what's going on, then sometimes I make a joke about a situation, and you know when I'm joking. But what I don't do it's crossed the lines of starting something where one person is going to attack another person or may try to do something physically to another person you know you have a responsibility when you do this and that's why I try to tell people that it's freedom of speech but watch what you say because the people that are listening to you are either in their teens some might be younger and they don't understand what's going on they might think what you're saying is a hundred percent authentic they don't know the person that told you or sent you the information might be sending you some doctored information so you think you might be telling the truth and then it'd be completely wrong or they had something wrong when they gave you the information so you have to be a little responsible with how you deliver it I think maybe I remember two incidents where like they gave me the information and it turned it out to be not true or it wasn't like not true it just wasn't a hundred percent the way it was when it when it finally came out it was a little different it was sort of true but then not how we thought because of the way somebody took some information and then put their own perception to it so when we had it, it was like, okay, well, this is what it is. If it's not that, I'll tell you in the video. I'll tell you, like, look, you know, this is what allegedly this is what's going on. Because I'm going to tell you how it was told to me. If it ain't 100, then it ain't 100. But I'm going to let you know from the from the giddy up what's going on. And this is why I didn't touch this. And I didn't touch it because I was like, whoa, wait a minute. Well, let me find something on it. And everybody was just, you know, piggybacking off the next guy's comment, which was a complete fabrication. Because Soldier, I'm like, he just worked with Sosa. What in the world would he be beefing with Sosa for? It don't even make sense. That is like the biggest career suicide you could really do. I'm like, you going for Rico to Sosa? It's not good. So with all the things said and completed and done, 
we come to the realization when Soldier came out and told everybody, like, I love Sosa. You know, like, that's my guy. Why would I, you know, diss him? I, I didn't diss Sosa. But at that time, you got Sosa responding, talking about Soldier Bro. So you got people responding to something that never happened. So now you make Sosa look bad. You make Soldier look bad. Then they're going to look at the person that put this out. Or had this information wrong. You could have done. Considerable amount of damage to them. You know what I'm saying. So. We have to be a little bit more responsible. Mistakes happen. I'm not going to come out here and attack that person. Who Paige really blew it up. And made it a situation. I'm not going to do that. Because. That person's trying to eat like everybody else. And make their money. And they. They, that wasn't, I don't think they did it with malice and heart. I think somebody, where they got their information from, they didn't do it, they didn't collect it properly and check it properly and made a huge mistake. But fortunately, it got a, corrected before it turned into a situation where it was drama full. But we have to learn from it. Because if you don't learn from it, then you'll repeat it. And then it could become a bigger problem down the road. So this is what I mean by responsibility. I'm out. And don't forget, uh, subscribe and all that great stuff. And I'm at Carcino on Twitter, at Carcino on Instagram. I'm out.